as you've heard, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today, we're doing the inverted levels for the final area of the game, Cortex Island. It's been a long time coming. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I just remember this world being so difficult the normal way through that I'm sure it's gonna be just as much of a challenge this time around. So let's hop into the first level, Nitro Processing, in the inverted section. Whoa, and this one has, oh, that is so cool. So it has like a retro game aesthetic to it. I really like that. So yeah, we'll do our best to get through this level and try to get everything. Oh no. <laughs> that is so fun. eyes, lips like two overripe bananas, skin like a jaundiced mole So of course we've heard all of that stuff before, but. The only thing that's a little bit difficult is it makes it hard to really see the enemies. I don't know if the score actually has a point for like any completion thing. I don't think so. There we go. But this is so cool. I've been missing this game. I've been wanting to play it again, so I figure we'll get the, you know, this last world done. I've been meaning to get done for a long time. But uh, of course, we'll have to get a lot of the, the fruit. We have to get all the crates. They get through without dying too many times, but easier said than done at times. Here, let's get through you beat you up, and then slam on this. There we go, we'll have to come back for the nitro, I think. Or hit the thing for the nitro. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! There we go, <laughs> forgot about this thing. So we gotta go across here. We're also, of course, looking for the secret gem, which could be just about anywhere. And I'm really, oh no! There's my first set. I think I can die after three times, right? So let's just try to make sure each one counts. I'm expecting we'll have to replay through a lot of levels. That usually is how it goes, and that's what makes it take so much effort. Um, yeah, we'll run over here, got it. And is there anything cool up here? Oh, there is a crate, so it looks like I, I missed something, so it was worth it to go back. Hmm. I'll switch over to this side. And I wanna be careful here. Oh, we got rid of both of them, that's good. Doesn't look like there's anything else over there, and it doesn't look like there's anything else over here, okay. Then we're good, okay, just don't fall to my doom. There we go. So I at least found that one crate that I missed before. Gotta hit this, fall over down here, keep going. But I really do like this retro vibe to it. You know, each area has sort of had its own style with the inverted stuff, but this is the coolest one so far in my opinion. Well, where exactly are we going? I guess over this way, this seems like a good idea. And then I guess like that, yeah, okay. Gotta watch out for all those spiky blades. Is there anything down there? I don't think so, but I guess it might be good to check. Okay, there was something down here, so let's, no way! That's such an evil trick, I thought that would, ah, oh, come on. Really, we're way back here now. I mean, I thought that would work, because usually that's what those crates are for, is to bounce off of them, so I might just wanna spin at it next time. Darn. So this time we know about this over here. I'm just going to break it normally, so that we, have, we don't have to risk anything. Now we go all the way around one more time. We're already at 25 out of 135 crates. So now we're getting closer to something. What even got me there? Something killed me and I don't know what. Uh-oh. Well, I definitely will have to replay through the level for the, you know, not doing it under a certain amount of depth thing, but at least I'm getting a little bit more figured out where we're supposed to go. I don't know. That was definitely weird. Okay, I'm gonna wait here and be careful. And then we'll turn the corner, spin you away, and just gotta Keep being careful until we run into a checkpoint. Oh no, I didn't even realize that we had a, uh, whoa, come on. Be careful, be careful. I didn't realize we had Naku Aku, but I guess maybe the game gave it to me because I was dying a lot. All right, spinning away you two, and then we're gonna keep moving. Got all these rats all over the place. I'm trying to avoid them, but also if I can get rid of them. Whoa, that was cool. We do get some extra points out of it. So I don't have Whoa. I don't know if there's gonna be any crates on these. It doesn't seem like it, but I can get one right there. We don't have the ability to switch in between the platforms anymore, so we just gotta be careful. Got it. Was there anything else around here? Really doesn't look like it, so I think we're good to grab this and keep moving. Uh-oh, whoa, little slimy guys. I don't think I can spin these guys away, right? Uh, I don't think so, so we'll leave them be. What does this do? Okay, this activates a bunch of stuff. I did get our first gem there. Was that my only chance at this? Oh, that was my only chance at that. I thought it would come back. So I'll have to die and then try that again. That might be really challenging. It might be worth it to uh, 
just try that part first. Oh, come on, because that's going to happen. I'd rather have to not redo everything every time. So just go like here like this, jump like that. Go over here, come on. Then I'm almost there. I think this is the last one. Looks like it to me. So now we can go back over this way. As long as I don't die. And get over here and destroy these three. Awesome. As far as I can tell, we did everything we needed to there. Now we get back up to that gem. Or the, yeah, the, they're gems. Yeah, I wanted to play this, of course, because I, I like this game a lot. I've been meaning to beat it, but on top of that, there's a brand new Crash Bandicoot game coming out called uh, Crash Team Rumble that I'll definitely be playing. I think it'd be fun to get this one finished before that comes out, but we'll have to wait and see if I'm able to conquer this level or this whole world because it's really challenging. Okay, ready and boom, got it. Now with you, I can just dodge you. Hit this, jump on that. I do see that Aku Aku, I would really like it, so let's, uh, ooh, got it. Nice. Wait, did we lose it immediately? No way. That stinks. All right, well, I'm trying to get onto this now. As you can see, there's plenty of crates to jump on. This is quite the combo. Okay, one more. Two more, actually. Okay, plenty more. There's a lot more here than I thought. There we go. Okay, now we have all this to worry about. It looks like what I need to do is this. I think it's like seven jumps, right? Hard to remember. Two, three, four, five. Okay, it's just five. One, two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, five, and then get the Aku Aku as well. Gotcha. See, that's much better. Wait, was there another creep down that way? There was. Okay, see that is exactly what we gotta be careful about. We get our second Wumpa Fruit gem now. Which I know they're not technically Wumpa Fruit, whatever they're supposed to be, but whoa, yeah, we got that big machine off that way. All right, so far. <laughs> oh no. We got over 10,000 points though, so we're doing good with that. Like I said, I don't think the points really matter much, but I guess we'll find out if that truly is the case. Okay, you know what? Get rid of you first, and then you. I will try to get as many points as I can, but. Whoa. Okay, got through. Ah, come on. That sinks. Oh no, and my battery is like, I just charged this thing. We'll get through like that, and then I gotta avoid this one as they're charging up. But, I can swipe them away like that. Got it. Doesn't look like I've really missed anything just yet. I'm trying to look ahead a little bit too. Not only just to see what obstacles are up ahead, but maybe even to, whoa, gotcha. Spot out any gems or anything like that would be good. Gotcha. There hasn't been any crates in a while, so that has me a bit worried. Like maybe I missed some, but maybe we're fine. I like how the music changes, though, too. Ooh, that was scary. Okay, we're right here. We're gonna let the flames come out, and then we'll go. I did see the Aku Aku crate. Whoa. That went down lower than I thought it would. But it was right there. Gotcha. Oh, man, this is visually very hard to figure out what's going on. I think I'm supposed to wall jump. Oh, I remember this being... Very difficult, very difficult. I remember getting stuck on this. <laughs> and that's never a good sign. If most of what I remember from the game is how difficult it was, it gets a little scary. There we go. So now I don't have an Aku Aku, unfortunately, but luckily we still have all of our crates. Okay, I was hoping you guys would raise your shields again eventually, but it looks like they just pulled it out towards us the whole time. Gotcha. Okay, get over to the flame crate, bounce off of it, and then slide into you, or not. Okay, that was awkward. No, wait, come on, ah, that was tough. Maybe I don't have to hit every single enemy, but ah, oh, now we're way back here. Definitely gonna take me quite a few tries to get this done while only losing three lives. Or no more than three lives, hopefully. I don't lose exactly three lives. Get you like that. Send your friend over that way. Oh, he hit the crate for me too. Thank you very much. Oh, the combos are actually working out pretty well here. Okay, grab that, hit the TNT, and I see another, oh, I thought this was an exclamation mark. 
No, it's a light. Huh, that was so weird. Uh-oh. No way! How did that not hit you? Darn. We're doing so good, too. We're almost to the next thing. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, I made it. And there also is a bonus round here, so I'll grab these three crates, and we'll try out the bonus stage first. Wonder how many crates we'll find on the bonus stage, but we're more than halfway there when it comes to getting crates in general. Okay, so for this one, 22 crates. Most of them are nitro, though, so we'll see what happens here. If I jump over it, it'll make some more stuff for me, so that's good. I need to probably get rid of the flame one sooner rather than later. Oh, that was close. Okay, so this is gonna explode. Oh, the nitro, man, what an explosion. The problem, though, oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it like that. I'm gonna have to try to move my way through that before that actually explodes. We got it, though. that shouldn't be too bad. So we go at this again. I'm going to, of course, try to maximize however many Wumpa fruit I can get, though. So I jump over that, land here, wait for the flames. Got it. Not bad. So this is where it gets a little tricky, but if we go like this, can bounce through, and then I can go one, two, three! <laughs> okay, well I wasted my Aku Aku with that. Maybe not the best thing to do. I oh, know I do get the Aku Aku back. Okay, so I won't be able to get all five jumps, but we get all 22 crates, which is really what matters for us. We're at 102 crates in total. We got our three Wumpa Fruit gems, so as long as we can get the remainder crates, I hope we can, I'll be happy. Okay, so of course we need to slow this down. Even when it's slowed down, it moves really darn fast, so just need to be careful of that. But I can get over here, at the least grab this checkpoint, then I do wanna take a quick peek to see if there's anything more over here. Doesn't look like it, okay. I might die because of that, that's okay. I've died 14 times now. One extra death doesn't really matter too much to me. Um, ah, like I said, <laughs> like I said, doesn't matter too much to me, but I'd rather not if I can handle it. Oh, okay, well I thought I was landing on it. Really hard to tell, especially with the pixelated filter. It's really cool effect, don't get me wrong, but it can be a little difficult to keep track of. Okay, so bounce off of this, turn that on again, and then I guess land, yep, right down this way. It seems like we're getting somewhere. Oh wait, oh yeah, let's, uh, I thought that was farther in the background than it is. Oh, that was a close one. But up here, oh no, here we go. Then I guess I could slow them down. Oh, slowing it down also makes the current of the water easier to get by. Actually, what if I were to... No, okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Nothing up here. Okay, just wanted to make extra sure. You never know with this game. Might be a hidden gem there or somewhere else. Speaking of which, ow! I haven't found the gem yet. It's gotta be around somewhere, but it might take us a couple of tries to get to it. Okay, we're coming down this way again. This bug is gonna try to get me. Luckily, he doesn't like electrocute all of the water. Okay, got them all. That was great, actually, but there is more of them. So let's be careful here. Maybe I should actually Okay, now go. Ow, I got hit somehow there. I guess, oh, by the little turbine things. I'm trying to jump over them, but once again, it can be really hard to tell exactly where Crash is on the floor sometimes with this filter on, at least for me. It makes it more challenging, in a way. You know, it's just interesting, because these levels were tough enough as they are. It can feel like they're fresh levels because they're inverted, you know, left is l right and right is left. But on top of that, the filters are what make them truly a lot more difficult, because sometimes it's just simply hard to see what's happening. This is a true test of my Crash Bandicoot skills. Which I never thought were super high to begin with, but you know, I got here so far, so that's nice. Let's see what we can do here. Spin you away, and then your friend too. There we go, so that's much better. And if I can just get, get rid of you. I still got hit though, oh my goodness. Fighting the current and spinning away enemies at the same time is such a struggle. Okay, this time I sort of just powered through it, but we got enough of the crates at the very end to get our inverted gem. That's fantastic. So obviously there's still a lot more for us to do here in nitro processing, but we got some of the harder stuff out of the way. So we need to go through without dying more than three times and find that hidden gem. So let's give it another try. Yep, let's replay. Oh wait, I just saw it. I just saw it right over here. What a sneaky spot for a gem. You can just barely see that thing. They really get 
evil with those hidden gems in this, you know, post-game sort of, you know, inverted part. It is, it's crazy how some of these gems are so easy to miss. Either way, we got through it. Haven't lost any lives in this level just yet, so I'm just gonna keep trying to do that, get through this without dying too many more times. All right, I'm almost there. If I die one more time, we're done for there. Though, there we go. Okay, so I think I did it. This level should be technically completed. Let's see. Yes, so there are all the gems. Because of that, we get the Crate Crusher 9000 costume. So let's continue. Maybe I'll go equip that now. But man, that was a lot of hard work. And that's just one of many levels we need to get through. We have one, two, three, four more levels of the survive, so it's not gonna be easy in the slightest. But let's go ahead and equip our new, our new uh, costume right over here. This was a uh, Crate Crusher 9000. Whoa, look at you. Awesome. So let's try out our next level, Toxic Tunnels. All right, so another difficult level ahead of us, I'm sure. Of course, first thing we gotta do in every crash level is check behind us to see if there's any hidden crates, and this time there was, so definitely worth our while. Then we can spin you away, and your friend. Nice, so how many we have? 273 crates to find, oh man. I have to choose a bandicoot. If I just stuck with the wombat, this all could have been different. It's <laughs> my favorite joke in the game. Wombats. This magical is strong, clever, and above all, loyal. All right, so we'll try to get through this a little bit, but I think this is the level where we get to activate all of our gems to use and go into the sort of secret zone, if I'm not mistaken. And that makes this, in my opinion, by far one of the hardest levels in the game to complete. So we'll see how it goes here. Because I remember, if I remember correctly, this being an absolute nightmare <laughs> to complete. But we are already 15 crates into it, so at least that's something. Okay, gonna wait right here, and then spin through it. Got it. It also doesn't help that, you know, I haven't played in a good year or so, so might be a little bit rusty, but. Look, I'm you know, trying my best to warm up here. We'll get this one. Doesn't look like there's anything else going on here, so spin these two away. And is there anything to our right? Doesn't look like it. Of course, I'm still looking out for the hidden gem, but I fully expect me not to find it on this run through. Whoa, okay, watch out for the minecarts. I get a lot more here. And it doesn't look like there's anything off this way. Yeah, there's sort of an invisible wall. So now I go, and I have to ooh, be very careful. Once again, it's hard to make out exactly, whoa, what's been going on visually here with all of the pixelatedness. Yeah, right here. So if we have all color gems, which of course we do, we can go like this. Now the thing I don't remember is are there crates on both sides? Do I have to go this way too? Let's go, it looks like I do. Uh, I don't know the best way to go about this. I can't remember. I don't know, um, for right now, because that's what made this so hard. If you want to get every crate, you have to sort of backtrack. Let's go through this way, because this is going to be the more difficult way. This is the way we unlock. Oh, no, for getting all the gems. I'm going to die a lot this level. Like, so be it, kind of thing. Uh, but if we can find where the exit is and then just backtrack, you know, the normal way that you would go if you didn't have all the gems, that might be the way to do this. Okay, so, ah, darn. Okay, so it looks like, you know, we're back out here. I see some TNT crates to jump across. Got it. And is there anything over here? Okay, whoa, watch out for that guy. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything like above our heads that we're missing, so I think we're gonna continue here. Maybe, they, I mean, there are crates to get here, as you can see right up this way, but I remember this does get progressively more difficult. And if it's anything like I remember, I think we have to do it all in one try. That was the real challenge. There might not be any checkpoints for us. I mean, I'm sure if we die on it enough, it'll give us the uh, the adjusted sort of version. Okay, so let's get through this. We know there's no crates here. So I can run through like this, go like that, hit these three, and then move through here. So we've already died the more than three times necessary. <laughs> so we're not gonna worry about that. that. That we'll worry about later. I do remember these being so, so treacherous though. Okay, so we'll hit this. And, oh, we're supposed to sort of hang on to that, yeah. But, we gotta be careful of the electricity. 
get rid of them. Bounce off of this. Got it. And then we need to, oh man, that's scary. And there, there is something up top there. Right up here, got it. Because the last thing you wanna do on a level as long and difficult as this one, right, is complete the whole thing and miss one crate, you know? That's where you lose your mind. Okay, jump on, and then jump across. Whoa, okay, well, I was trying to avoid that and disaster struck, now I gotta do the whole thing over, and that's where I'm saying it gets so, so challenging. I do remember that just being such a mess to deal with. So same deal again, we can jump over here. I got hit by it, I didn't realize, whoops. Okay, so this is probably not worth worrying about for the Wumpa Fruit. We'll get more Wumpa Fruit if we get every crate, so. Obviously, we're not maximizing our score or anything crazy like that, but whoa, big explosion there. Okay, I do remember this being a bit tricky, but I might just want to take a look to see. Okay, it looks like we're good. I can jump up here. Got it. Oh no, ah, close one, close one. We gotta go all the way down, all the way back up, or through the green gem section. I don't think we missed anything. Now we're going through the red gem, where we're gonna be gifted an Aku Aku to start things off, that's very courteous. Once again, I don't think I wanna worry about Wumpa Fruit too much for something like that. We have 273 crates worth of stuff to get. I'm, I'm pretty doubtful. Ah, oh, I, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Very scary to make that work, but now I gotta do the whole thing again. Oh, it's so rough. Okay, with this, you sorta need to be preemptive with it, and then, I might just take the hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hit there because I do not want to risk falling off and having to redo this whole thing because this part just gets so, so challenging. So we jump across here and I don't really know what's after, so let's make sure we jump over all that stuff. Oh man, because I don't think there's any checkpoints for us. So let's try to be careful. I don't think there's anything over that way. So we'll hop on top of one of the minecarts or not. Okay, uh, come on. I'm trying to jump on top of one of them. Like that, and then, okay, maybe I don't even do that from here, I do that from over this way. Okay, got it, got it. I really don't think we missed any back that way. Whoa, see ya. We still do have an Aku Aku, which is good, I guess. All right, here we go. Got a wall jump across again, and I guess I got hit there if you say so. Uh, <laughs> we'll keep it moving, we're up to 91 crates. So we have no more Aku Aku to protect us. This is the farthest I've been for this level. We'll stand here. Got it. So far, so good. All right. Still just looking around for any kind of sneaky crates. Got rid of the, the shielded rat thing. Okay, so. Yeah, let's try to do this and then, oh, I can duck under it. That's actually perfect. Awesome. What do I wanna do here? Cause it looks like I could go over this. Whoa, they heat up? I forgot about that. All right. Um, no, I thought I could get away in time. That was not in time. Yikes. Okay, so I was wrong with this red gem section. There are two crates over here. I sort of started to remember that as I was getting through this level. I'm like, wait a minute. From my memory of playing this level previously, I'm pretty sure there is something, oh no. Ooh, thought I was gonna get hurt there. And I don't think I got these before either. These crates? Let me make sure I get them now. Oh, it's just, get all those, get over this way, and then I think I am good. Ah, ah I lost my Aku Aku for that, but it is what it is. Gotta get up here, break these open. You can see we're slowly earning up our total again. We're at 94 now, which is definitely higher than what we were at before. So we're almost, we're just gonna jump across this. Got it. Why? What? Why did it send me higher than it was? I don't know. Such a weird game sometimes. <laughs> I mean, obviously the first time I did this in the normal version, it took me hours and hours and hours. I think the same thing's gonna happen here, but uh, one step at a time, I suppose. We're getting a little bit more knowledgeable with the level with each time that we die. I did have to restart the level at some point just because I had to stop playing for a bit. And I think that's gonna happen a lot as I just plan on playing in like little bits at a time just to see if we can slowly get better and get through this level. 
Okay, so let's give this another go right over here. I'm a little bit nervous about this jump, but the TNT got us before. Now we just gotta slide out of here once the fire goes away. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Let's grab some Wumpa Fruit and a bunch of Bounty Crates over here. This will help with our total quite a lot. All right, feeling pretty good with that. Now getting back is a little scarier, trying to time this without getting squished. Uh, okay, well, I got squished. That's all right, because we have Aku Aku. I'm just very cautious here because there are no checkpoints, again, with all this. So we just have to make our way through without dying whatsoever. And it's been so, so challenging to do that, but there's still more to go. With that done, oh, wait a minute. I think this is the end. I think we're almost there. I think we're about to, if we hop on one of these mine carts, I don't think there's too much more after this. If I'm not mistaken, this is the end of the color gem path. I can't remember too much, but let's see. There's riding this. I'm prepared for any kind of crazy jump right at the end or something like that. It is sort of kind of, whoa, a leisurely ride over. That was a close one. But with that, we're right back where we started with so many more crates, but we're not out of the woods just yet. We need to be careful because if we still die here, we'll have to do everything over. So you get rid of those two rats. We'll bounce off of these and just try to be extra, extra careful. I'm so nervous right now because anything could happen for better or for worse. Luckily, these platforms are not gonna flame up. And we're just looking for any checkpoint. I'm not seeing any up there, so let's just be careful. Get across to here. Oh, I'm really feeling nervous about this. And I guess we'll just wait to see if we can't hop on top of the rat. Just like that, perfect. Take your opportunity, oh! <laughs> we don't wanna get stuck under the platform, that would be bad. I don't think there's anything to the right, so let's just, oh, there's a checkpoint. Just go and get that right now. There we go, we did it. Oh man, that was treacherous. That was basically the hardest challenge in the game, now we've done it for the second time. That's good. You can duck under this. There's still so much more of this level to go, but that was like, you know, a big chunk of the hardest part. So, yeah, pretty good stuff there. And we can keep going. Oh man. Got it. And, oh no, oh, okay, that could have been bad. Luckily, we recovered pretty well, so. And at this point, okay, maybe we, we didn't recover so well. <laughs> it's fine though, because you know, we got that one checkpoint. I'm really happy with that. So we can just keep moving. All right, boom, got it. This stuff, while it is still plenty difficult, is nothing compared to what we just survived, you know? So I'm not really even sweating it. We'll get to the end of this sooner or later, since it's not like this huge gauntlet that we had to do before. Man, I am falling all over the place, so. Okay, I think we're a little closer. There we go, we get that one crate. We're good to go. So let's just hope we don't fall to our doom with the rest of this stuff. It's still really easy to do that at any moment. Okay, got you there. Snuck up from behind. And now we're finally at the top of this, out of the sort of the sewer section. At least, maybe we're not. It looked like we were heading out of it, but I guess not quite yet. It's hard to tell when everything's so pixely and blurry. And oh no! Wait, am I gonna have to do all that over? No, okay, we just got that checkpoint, we're good. Gotta be careful of the electric bug. Those guys aren't friendly either. <laughs> but hey, I'm willing to die as many times as I need to to get through this. The way right here. Spin you away. And, oh, now we have to juggle ourselves between here. Yeah, not getting any easier. Let's get through this again but we're getting a little bit farther with each attempt, right? So far, that is the case. Yeah, I can't make the platform just yet, but just don't fall off this time so that now we can move over. And have to jump over this thing. And, ah, oh, no, the electric bug got me. Yikes. Those things are everywhere. Cortex has to hire like an exterminator or something. These things are just crawling around, causing such an issue. Okay, this time we got it. I hope. Did the electric bug get me handled things so. No! <laughs> Thought I was close enough just to stand on the edge and wait for it. I guess not. Okay, we're getting closer now. And boom, get you out of here. I'm done with it. Jeez. Jump over all that. I'm just gonna spin this one away. Well, I don't think this is worth worrying about. Jumping across. I mean, we still need a lot of the Wumpa Fruit gems. Like, that's sort of the thing. So we still have a lot of crates to get here. A lot of crates. I can only hope that I haven't missed any just yet, but at the least, is there anything up here? Nope, we're still trying to find the hidden gem too. Ooh, got it, cool. And then we'll just try to make this jump. Whoa, whoa, that platform moves fast. 
Okay, this time, I got the Aku Aku. Oh, and I accidentally used it right there. Okay, now I no longer have an Aku Aku, but hey, we got across it. This is a mess right now, but I will just try to get to the end here because we have a checkpoint waiting for us right here. Thank goodness we got this. And along with it, as you can see, we have a bonus stage. If I'm not mistaken, this bonus stage is really, really hard. Yeah, it looks complicated. Got these flame crits we have to be careful of, and I really messed up that timing. Okay, we're trying again. I wanna spin right before that bouncy crit, yeah, just like that. I've, I've, I've had a few attempts already. Most of them have not gone well, but I think this is the one. I'm getting a lot more used to how this one works. I wanna get rid of that flame crit, get rid of those. We can get over this. Yes, okay. I just wanna get rid of all of this for now. You can see there's, there's a lot here. We need to dive into those. This jump, ooh, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make that, but I should also be able to get rid of this, and then we'll leave the flame crate for after. And I could get a lot of Wumpa fruit from this, but honestly, it's not what I'm worried about. I just need to dodge all this stuff, just keep it moving. That nitrous was so scary. But now, this is where things get a little complicated. We're gonna wait for that TNT to explode. While it is, we get the other TNT here that'll explode all the nitro crates. And I think we're good, right? This is one flame crate and then the three other crates way over there. So I'm a little nervous about this. Or the two other crates. Boom, we got it. Okay, I think we did it. So now we just have to find our way back. Can we make this huge jump? Yes, we can. And this one can also be a bit scary. We can hit our heads on this one crate. Luckily we don't. There we go, we're through the bonus stage. We have 187 crates in total and we have the second Wumpa Fruit jab. Oh my goodness. And luckily with that uh, bonus stage completed, we also get a checkpoint again, so we don't have to do any of that over. And now I want to, I think, backtrack a little. Up here, yeah, 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 there's a couple more crates, so we can get those. Doesn't look like there's anything else higher up. Is that a thousand Wumpa Fruit for this super, super long level. And, ooh, no, I couldn't quite make it over that rat. Okay, we're going again. I get all these first. That way I actually have an Aku Aku to defend me. I should be able to squeeze over you. Ooh, just barely dodge that. Okay, get that one crate. Try to dodge all this nonsense. A few more up there, got it. What more can we do here? Okay, I think some more stuff up this way. Three more crates for us. And that's also our final Wumpa, final Wumpa gem which is great, but what's to the left here? I'm trying to find out wh which way do I go first? I guess this way. A bunch more Wumpa Fruit, even though we technically don't really need it. Might as well pick it up. And now we're here. So, ooh, scary. Oh no, ooh, watch out for the flames bubbling up. That was really terrifying. We almost got knocked out there, but boom, another checkpoint for us. Now we're really making our way out of the sewers and into this whole lava section. I guess we'll spin this away. I don't think the TNT will break these slam crates. Nope, so we have to slam through them. Just like this, boom, gotcha. So what's the deal with all of these wheels? Oh no, I'm a little nervous. Ooh, we almost fell to our doom. That would not have been good. Just trying to make our way through all these platform jumps. And oh wow, yeah, the, the gem was right there. I can't believe that. Just go and snag that one, I guess. That was honestly one of the most out and open gems we've seen in a while. Usually they're a lot harder to grab, but you now we get to snag that one super easy. So, let's just ooh, try to get out of here. Got it. And we're at the home stretch of things. I really think you can see the Cortex Castle in the what distance. Must I do to prove myself? Sharon, Looks like uh, Cortex is complaining again. We've heard all this before in the original playthrough, so I'm not too worried about it. Just a little bit longer to go. We're 230 out of 273. Plenty of crates still laying around on this last little home stretch, including that one bounce crate to the right. We try to wait for the best time. We do not want to miss that. I almost got hit there. Got it. And boom. All right, we can maybe move out of all this. Ooh. One more, one more, got it. The flame wasn't even building up on that, I guess. Ooh, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to spin that right away. Doesn't look like there's any crates to the left. Definitely no hidden gem, so. Let's get onto this platform. 
just a little bit longer. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Jumping over to this, another good pile of crates. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna let it bring back real quick, just to be sure. I do not wanna mess up this jump when we're this far along. Bouncing off of that. And, boom, we're on here. Uh-oh, whoa, I almost got like knocked down from that platform. I've heard there could be a lot of potential fixes in this around here, so I gotta be careful on each platform. But I can definitely break some of these. I don't see anything more to the right. Ooh, got rid of you. And I don't see anything else. I think we're in the clear. Oh man. There is the end of the level. We're gonna hit this thing, hit those three, and boom, we got ourselves every crate in this really awfully difficult level. I can't believe it, Toxic Tunnels is completed. That literally took me hours and hours to do. So challenging, but now we gotta do it all without losing three lives. Okay, well, I think we're about to do it. Yes, we did. We just completed Toxic Tunnels without dying more than three times, and with it, we get every gem to unlock this Coco costume. That's awesome. So Toxic Tunnels is now completed, finally. We have Cortex Castle as our next inverted level. Before we hop into it, we can switch over to Coco, who we just unlocked this Crate Crusher 9000 costume, which looks pretty cool. So might as well jam out with this one as we head into Cortex Castle, the inverted version. If we can do this, we unlock Bat Crash. So that sounds amazing. Let's get going. All right, well, I'm very nervous for this, but we have 170 crates to find. I honestly don't remember this level too much, so gotta get this little mask. Break these open, and this one, oh no. Very difficult to sort of see what's going on with this filter. But I do sort of feel like it's coming back to me exactly how this level goes. Oh, okay, yeah, this is sort of familiar. I need to jump onto this, switch over to this thing, but this is where it gets a little bit scary. I need to jump over here. And what's going on up this way? Any kind of extra stuff there is. Okay, so I think I probably want to jump, jump, switch. Oh, it got me. The timing there has to be, I guess, just about perfect. Which if we die a bunch of times, honestly, it's sort of just what I'm expecting. Okay, yeah, switching to this one. Does it even go high enough to get up there from here? Or do I just have to do it from this part? Like, does this go above the laser? It doesn't really. Huh, okay. So maybe I'll just, nope, not doing that. I don't remember how to get up that jump. That is a weird one to start with. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I just d destroyed me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're right here for now. I might just have to try... Nah, I can't land on the very corner of that platform or anything. This one's so weird. I definitely am missing something. Okay, switching to here. That platform just does not go up high enough but you hit the wall there. I'm definitely doing something wrong. What is up with this? Okay, I realize what I'm supposed to do here. I was being a little bit silly. We can switch the nitro away. I just didn't notice. I feel like that's probably easier to see. Yeah, now I can see the visual effect. It's just really, really hard to notice that in my opinion. I think it's just because of uh, the pixel effect. That's what I'm gonna blame it on for now. I think I need to yep, jump through like that. Maybe bounce over here. I hope I can make this jump again, because this one's gonna go over. What we need to do, it's a little tricky, but there we go. That was pretty good. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta get over to here. I'm a little nervous about this, but I think I need to jump and then switch to this. I have nowhere else to go. Whoa, wait a minute, you can land on this? Okay, good to know. See, now I have to head up here. Luckily, I had that Aku Aku though. That really saved me. Bouncing up this way just for the extra height of it, and then, Got it. Oh, I'll take that checkpoint for sure. I don't think we're missing too much just yet. We're at um, 14 crates, plenty more to go. Oh, now we have the slowdown. Nothing up there, right? Doesn't look like it, so as long as I can just get past this, we're good for now. And, oh no, got an enemy, okay. That's what they do. <laughs> they dash forward. Let's try that again. Should just be able to get through that, no problem. And for you over here, Hey, I'm just gonna jump on your head. How do, how do you like that one, huh? Ooh, crash and burn. I think we're just going to, ooh, get that. And then, oh no! <laughs> Let me just make sure there was no other crates up here. It really doesn't seem like it, so we can keep moving. And I think I just want to, no wait, don't get torched by the flame crate. Got it. 
Oh, you know what? This is a nitro crate, but we do have the time slow done, so we can break it before that runs out, so that's really cool. Okay, I do need to be careful with the timing here, but no, whoa, 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 that was weird. I thought I was on at the slide, but I slammed instead. Ah, oh, now I gotta do all that again. That's not too fun. I mean, the, the benefit is I know exactly where everything is now, so I can just sort of get through a lot faster, but still a bit of a chore to get through when I've already done it once. Got it, so I might just break that stuff. Ooh, actually, yeah, let's wait, touch it like that and then run. And then I guess, well, I might wanna wait for a better timing. Something like this feels a little bit better. And I don't think there was anything else I missed there. We're 22 crates now. Oh my, uh, yeah, get rid of you two for sure. I don't wanna see that. Oh, and this one is crazy because we need to jump out over to here and then get rid of that flame crate, slam on this stuff, and we're up to 25 crates so far with the bonus waiting for us right here. So this is good, it serves as a checkpoint as well. All right, and we have the slowdown to deal with as well here, so we'll wait for this. That'll break everything else open, and it is more nitro to get through. Nothing we can't handle, though, right? Whoa, very scary. But I guess I just bounce off of that stuff, it'll explode everything, including the TNT. Now for this. Whoa, whoa, oh, I got hit by that stray blast from the robot. Okay, I'll have to time that a little bit. But we can handle it, for sure. There's 39 crates to get in total here. So I'm really just trying to make sure that we make the most of everything. I wanna just do that for now. Get through this a little bit. Bounce that, and then while we're over here, turn off the slowdown. Cause that's sort of the nice thing is that we can turn off the slowdown whenever we need to. Got it. And then down this way. When they all hop up, like maybe that's a faster way to do it. Not really, okay. Oh no, I might be actually in a bad spot. Oh really? I thought that, I thought the blast was dissipating there. I guess not, that is so tough. Okay, this time I make it through, and then I just want to yeah, get up here for a second. And what do I do here? I guess I can bounce that for now. Yeah, that'll make some blocks below us available, so I can do a little bit of that, and then, oh no. I'm just now realizing I probably should have gotten the nitro though. I might be out of a chance here, but one thing I could try is bouncing up here like this, and then, no! <laughs> I jumped a little too high, you're kidding me. Oh man, but we're getting farther with each attempt, so I guess that's all that really matters. Okay, this time, yeah, I just barely grazed it there, but that's much better. Now I should just be able to bounce off of that stuff, but this is where I gotta be quick. Wow, that was close. But we got all 39 crates out of that. Man, that was a super duper close one. And enough of the Wumpa fruit, or whatever it's supposed to be to get our first Wumpa gem. Okay, so now we're back to all of this. I don't see any other like crazy crates up this way, so I think we'll be able to just sort of get through this level. I hope. Oh no, we're fine. Wow, what a jump, and I still make it. That's great. Alright, well they're 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 bickering. We're trying to get through this. Can I bounce off of these? I can't. I can't. Okay. Good to know. I think we'll just run into an extra crate at the end of the level, but what I can do at the least is this. This one takes a little getting used to if I haven't played it in a while, so I'm just trying to get used to it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Got rid of you. And then we can jump over all that stuff. Gotta be a little bit careful here. No! Man, that was not careful at all! <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh no, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. But that's okay. You know, I'm not trying to get the less than three deaths run on this one, it's just a little too much for me to do that. But I can knock you off again. It really, it jumped up, it kicked up at the worst time. Ugh. Okay, watch out for the flame crate. There we go, break this TNT as well. Get through all of this. I do hear you already, so I'm just gonna knock you off straight away and work on getting some of these crates. And then I only have to hit one TNT for this to be no longer an issue. Bounce off of this stuff. I guess get this checkpoint. Maybe I should, wait, I'm not quite done. I wanted to see you know, what is up here. 
a lot of stuff. Um, I guess I'll do this. Wait, 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 I missed one, I missed one! Wait, I should've just gotten the checkpoint. Ah, oh, darn. So I'm just gonna grab that checkpoint right now just to be extra sure about everything. So I don't know what the deal is with all of this, really. Okay, so yeah, I can't make that jump from there. But if I were to, I have this checkpoint. If I grab this, can I go backwards with it? I can't. Oh, okay, wait a minute. No, 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 I can't do that either. Huh. So leave the leftmost one just so I can get through all this, and then I can like super jump, super jump, got it. So what's the deal with all of this? A lot of stuff to sort of break through here. I guess I want to, no, get through that without getting torched, and because I got the checkpoint. This is why I wanted to get all this stuff before I got the checkpoint, because now I have to do this every single time I die, and that's just not so fun to deal with, but we got through it. And I just need to wait for that to be done. Spin through it all, and then we slam on this stuff. Much better. Now what's the deal with all of this? I guess I need to, whoa. Oh, that is awkward. That is so awkward. <laughs> Not good. Okay, we're trying this again. I mean, in reality, I just need to do that. Get over here, break these two super quick. And then maybe wait for us for a second, yeah, just like this. Oh, because of that, and even with the Naku Aku, that is a one hit takedown. Very unforgiving. <laughs> this game is brutal. Okay, trying this again. We got through. I don't see really anything too much more to do here except for go down this way. Just trying to make sure we don't really miss out on anything more than we need to. We're still trying to get our third Wump Fruit Gem here, so. Trying to get as many of these actual fruit pieces as possible. Then I should just be able to jump over this one. Feels like a good idea. Oh boy. Got another checkpoint, so we're getting farther and farther. I guess I just jump on top of this. Give it a ride, why did I slip off? That was weird. It's fine, it's fine. I'll jump through. Yeah, you just slip off of it, okay. I'm gonna try that one more time, just try to run with it. Yeah, you definitely need to, but it's okay. Because we can get through to here, jump. Ooh, got it, got it. No way, okay, Aku Aku got hit by that one. Ah, wait, oh, that was close, that was so, so close. We're back here now. There's still more to survive here for sure, so I'm just trying to be very careful with everything. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's from the Cortex level or something. All right, well, good to know. Definitely will grab this checkpoint. Let's see what the deal is with all this. Ooh. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to duck jump so I could get all this stuff. And then maybe get this one. I got it, I got it. So still looking for the hidden gem too. Haven't quite found it. Oh, I didn't even realize that we got a little special guy here. So I guess I want to, what do I want to do? Wait, right here. That was weird. So you can land on those. Those little things have been bumping into me. It's really hard to tell if you can land on them or not. I need to grab this stuff again, don't forget. That would be the worst if I forgot this stuff right now. Okay, let that stuff explode, jump up here, break that, we're good. Now with this, I just need to... No, I just, what is wrong with me? Why is this so difficult? Okay, so I'm getting through this one. I need to slow down time and then fall down here. Got it, there's just so much going on. Did I miss anything up this way? It doesn't seem like it, we're good. Now this part is scary. I need to fall down, switch over, but you need to do it immediately. So it's just so tough. And it's weird that it even gives me the Aku Aku here because clearly it doesn't do too much. But um, here, I'll just try it again really quickly because I'm getting a little more used to it. I jump like this, I slow things down, I fall down there, and then I immediately, okay, if you immediately s switch, though, it didn't work, and why did that one, see, that one Aku Aku actually take, took the hit. I'm so confused, I'm so confused. Ah, uh, no. I'm getting a little overwhelmed here, and I'm making silly moves, so. We just need to get through this. Slow that down, fall down this way, and I didn't really mean to jump. The timing there is so crucial. It's really, really hard to make that work. So the game adjusted it and I guess gave me a shortcut here. Interesting. I mean, I'll take it, but I was so close to this checkpoint anyway, so. 
Sort of feel a little bit silly about that. We need to, oh, jump off these. I didn't think I'd made that jump. All right, this is so messy. I've died so many times. But I can bounce off of that. I can get over here, switch into slow down mode. I don't need to be quick about this. Switch over to this. Ooh, it's a whole combo of stuff here. What do I do about that? Hold on. How do, how do I get up to that then? There's more up there. There's way more up there. How do I get up to that? I need to make a better jump. Okay. I think if I like, I don't know. There's a way to get up there for sure. I just didn't really do it right. Okay, switching to this. And this is where we need to, ah, oh, not do that, no. How do I get up to those TNT crates? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I still got it, I still got it. That's amazing. I think that's all the crates up there. I'm going to hope it is. That's not what I was supposed to do there. Okay, I thought that was gonna be the other one. It's honestly so hard to tell with this filter. Anyways, I can get this golden wampa fruit. Ah, oh. already back to some more of the tricky stuff here. I guess I just need to do this. Get through a little bit more. There we go. So what do I do with this one? I just want to bounce up like that. I guess, man, that is ridiculous. I sort of remember this being the most treacherous part of the level. So I'm just trying to get through as much as I can. Why'd I do that? Uh, sometimes it's so hard to decide exactly when the spin. We'll get through like this. Wait for that blaster. Down. I No, I didn't want to do it that way. We've died 50 times here. Okay, that's gonna blast through. And then we have all the Wumpa gems. I over adjusted. Got it. Okay, get through this part. And then all I really need to do here is land on this one and then wait a moment for this to happen. Now, if I just stay on this platform, whoa, a huge connection of things just happened there. I need to be able to do that. And then I guess just get through like this. Oh man, I made it, I made it, okay. Then I flip over like this, I go, oh my gosh. Whoa, that was a lot. But we got a little bit farther. Actually, we got a lot farther than that one, so. We can at least just get through this again. I want to get here. And honestly, yeah, if I can just do it this way, I much prefer it. I guess I just have to wait for this is my problem. I should have done that sooner. Oh no. I might actually be in trouble here. Okay, I'll take it. We'll get through like this. Get down this way. And then, we'll fall down here. And this platform is gonna fall too. Oh no! <laughs> wow! That is so much. And I think we're supposed to be keeping pace with this moving platform too. So, that was sort of a mess. We'll try it again here. Okay, well I hit that one. Not really what I wanted, but all of this is gonna explode. We'll duck under that. Jump up this way, please get that. And then I will get through here, fall down like this. Switch over, go into super slow mode. But that still hit me. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I got it, sort of. Whoa. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We got them all. Wow, what a tough level. We still have so much more to do here, but that was the brunt of it completed. You know, we got all the wump of fruit. We got all the crates. We just need to do it without dying and find the hidden gem. I think we can handle it. Let's give it a replay. Oh, I found it, I found it. I've been checking every single little corner for that gem. And I finally discovered it. Man, that took me a long time. Okay, so gonna get that done. There we go. We're still trying to get through this level without dying three times. I've been prioritizing the gem. Uh, we'll see if that ends up happening or not, but I'm just glad we found that gem. You couldn't even see it from there. So that feels very unfair. By the way, I'm slowly just making our way through this level. Hopefully I can get through it. Okay, that took me so very many tries, but I was able to get through it without dying a bunch of times. So there we go, we get the hidden gem, we get the less than three deaths. Wow, that was tough. But we do get subject 299 as our costume for this one. I can't believe we finally did it. We got through that level. That was a struggle.
That was such a struggle. But now we only have, I think, well, technically one more level left to complete. We have the seeing double level the inverted version and then of course we have the boss fight over here so we are so close to the end let's get it done with this next level we'll also switch over to crash um because this is our last costume the subject number 299 looks like Willy the wombat in some ways <laughs> very very cool so yeah let's go to scene double of course it's always crash's fault but we'll be trying to get through this level as well as we can we gotta bust this open but i think that's probably gonna close again by the time we get through it right or maybe not, maybe we're fine. There we go, we have 129 crates to get in this level. I don't remember this one being too crazy difficult, but I don't wanna to speak too soon on that. So, whoa, I forgot we don't have a double jump. <laughs> of course, I'm not expecting to get through this without the you know three deaths, not right away. But we're just sort of looking to get every crate, looking to, uh, there we go, got it. And looking to just get all the other gems associated. So I probably want to get this one for free because you never know how many we'll end up needing. We can definitely jump and boost through that. And same deal here. Bust that one, boost through. Definitely get rid of that nitro. Oh, it is gonna, oh man, I can't make that jump. Oh, I see, I need to hop up to the thing to the left. It really is, it's been so long since I've played these levels and it, it really is like I'm playing them for the first time and they're also inverted, so. That helps embody my memory a little bit. No, come on. I'm not doing so well so far though. Okay, so I got it this time. I probably just wanna jump and power through all that. Get a bunch of Wumpa fruit out of it. Feeling pretty good so far. And grab this checkpoint. And then with these guys, don't I have to, yeah, I can blast them to turn them into platforms. I almost fell to my doom there. That would've been scary. Whoa, jumping on them. That was weird. Whoa, I can just get infinite points. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, we should be able to bounce off of you like this. Maybe. Oh, that was a little scary right there. But luckily we do have the Aku Aku, so maybe I shouldn't worry about it too much. I do wanna try to get some of these. All right, well, whatever. What's up here? A couple of other crates. Quite a lot of extra crates. Nice, we're up to 100 Wumpa Fruit already. We need quite a lot more though. Can land right there and then get onto this. Is there anything behind it? Oh, there was. Okay, let's back it up. Let's get out of the explosion zone. I think we're good to, oh no, we're not good. Yikes, I thought I could make that jump from there. Of course, Cortex's controls aren't as good as like crashes, especially not with a double jump to our availability. It does make it a lot more difficult, but it's okay. We'll keep going through. This is the last level we need to complete, you know? So if there's anything we need to do to get through this, we're gonna do it. With each crate, we're just one crate closer to completing the game. Funny way of looking at it, but you know, it makes it a lot more exciting for me, even if we fall to our doom a lot. Okay, so we're back at this jump. I think I might just want to make it a normal jump for now. Maybe I'm just relying too much on those. It does make me a bit nervous. So we'll get through like this, and then I think, oh no, whoa, no, come on, there's a little bit of hang time after he, ugh. I couldn't see what was going on in front of me. Jeez, this is the worst right now. I'm super struggling. Super struggling. Okay, I learned my lesson from last time. I need to do that and then try to get to this. There we go. And then, oh, I just barely made that. Unfortunately, what I think I have to do is get back over here, hit the bat again. Hold on, one more time. Just so it can move a little bit more forward. That's much better. Then I should just be able to normally jump over. There it is, I get this checkpoint. I can break this block and that moves that over. Feeling a lot better now. Um, I do wanna break this one. And then I can't quite get up to there just yet, but there is that nitro crate I do need to keep in mind. So maybe I, how would I get up there? I actually don't know. It's a little odd, isn't it? Um, well now we can revisit it from this checkpoint. Yeah, I don't quite know how I, could reach that as Cortex. I mean, it might just be one of those things where we'll have a nitro breaking crate at the end, so I probably shouldn't worry about it too much. So we just need to find our way through this. If I jump and then do that, we can at least hit that thing. I can, oh, bounce up here like this. Gotcha. Now, is there anything else? Yes, there will be. I do remember this. So sneaky, so very sneaky. We probably wanna jump around here a good amount just to make sure there's not a gem I'm missing or anything awful like that because they like to be evil to me in this game in that way. Okay, and then if I could just jump, blast you out of the way. Oh, I can't, no way. 
That sort of sinks. Oh, I got hit by that. It's fine, it's fine. We just keep moving. We're just not gonna worry about it. And then with this, ah, man, that's the worst. I guess I should be standing on the laser emitter there, if not anything else. Sort of hard to tell what I should be doing. I guess that hit me. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> Get back up here. Dive across here. Hit this one nitro. Get through all of this. Nothing over that way. Just blast my way through all of this too. Just trying to make sure we do not miss anything. We're at 53 crates so far, so I hope I haven't missed anything. Okay, I'm good, I'm fine. Which means I land right here, and as soon as it moves, I need to move too. Okay, Aku Aku saving me again. No, come on! It's just there's so much to time and to make the most of here. It gets so challenging. Okay, I was able to shoot through just like that this time. And then maybe I could, I don't think, yeah, that'd be enough to destroy the nitro. So I need to jump, shoot, move over. Oh wait, is my chance just gone? Oh, it's not, thank goodness. I was worried that I was just done for there. So what I need to do here, if I'm not mistaken, is just, ooh, come on. Whoa, no wait, no, ah, I panicked. I jumped more than I needed to. We were right at the checkpoint too. Jeez, this is ridiculous. There we go. All right, I don't have any Aku Akus left, but so be it. How am I surviving this one? And wait for that. Ooh. I don't see how I could break those Nitro down there. So that's where I just have to hope. Oh no. Oh, that's where I just have to hope that there will be a Nitro Explosion crate at the end. I would think that there is, but you never know with this game. All right, bounce through all of that. Just trying to get to this. We got our first Wumpa Fruit Gem. And then I land down this way, and I'm just gonna, oh man, I wasn't at the best angle for that. Uh, oh no, no, <laughs> come on. Okay, I got through it. Gotta wait for you again. Then we go through like this. So can I blast these guys? Oh, you really can't. So what's the deal with this one? I need to jump, charge, and then maybe, nope, oh, that's gonna squish me, gotcha. I gotta be able to do something about that too then. These sections just go on for so long. Ah! Okay, I think I got it this time. Ooh, got it. And then we'll wait right here, sure, why not? There we go. I should go to bust through these pretty quickly. There we go. What are we at, 77 crates? And this is the crash section. It's interesting that I just skipped the cutscene. I did not press anything. Weird. Okay, we're through it though. Is there anything behind us we have to worry about? I don't think so. Really doesn't seem like it. We can't get back up there. So we're just focused on going forward and getting the remainder of these crates. There's a lot of nitro now, but we can at the least, here, get these ones. And then super slam this stuff. That should help a lot. Grab this checkpoint and get started with all of this. So yeah, I'm guessing this is gonna be t just as difficult as it was before in the previous level, but uh, Hopefully it's something we can handle. Can I hop on top of this? Yes, I can, perfect. Um, so I probably just want to, yeah, I can't do it that way. That's a little greedy, I guess. It's fine. Uh, just really what I wanna do, yeah, is this. There's some extra crates around with this that do make it a little bit more challenging. Interesting that even though the time ran out, like the time ran out there, so I take damage from it, even though, I don't know. Ooh, we didn't hit the side of it or anything. Okay, I got all those. That was really good. We're at 80 out of 129. So I can do this. Ooh, close one. Really close one, but we get the checkpoint, which means I can just slow things down, bounce through all of this, turn this around a little bit. Okay. We do have this super difficult jump again, but I can handle it. No, I can't. Oh, we were so close. I just needed that one crate on our way down. We would have been fine. Luckily, it wasn't too far along. We're getting very generous checkpoints at this point. Look, actually more generous than our first time through, which is really weird. So yeah, on our way up, we do that. Ah, oh, man, I timed that wrong. Okay, I think I got it. We hit this checkpoint, and now I switch. That was the wrong thing. But we got the checkpoints, so I don't care. We also got the third Wumpa Fruit Gem there, I think. Nope, not what I needed. Hold on, hold on, ready? Got it, and then, got it. And spin that away. Yep, we got all the Wumpa Fruit Gems, so now I just hop down here. I, no, I do remember this part. 
This part's tricky, but we can get through it for sure. Okay. No! <laughs> I guess I'm just getting a little too excited to get through this. There we go. Now jump through here. And then I think I'll be fine. Yeah, right over here for now. Now all I have to do, I don't even have to use the tornado for this part yet, yeah, just do that. Okay, I hope that there's nothing on top of there. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to hope that there isn't. Anyways, we get down here, I switch over, I slide down, I go into the fan mode, or the spin mode. We switch over and I miss the jump. I did that so many times on the previous level too, darn. Okay, there we go. Flip over this way, hit this one, and let's see, is that enough? It is, we get ourselves the gem. I can't believe it, that took a lot of effort, but luckily not as difficult as the previous one. It didn't take me as many tries. We do need to get through to get, of course, if we want to survive all of it with, it with less than three lives lost. So let's try that out. We'll also have to find the hidden gem. Oh, I found it, the secret gem was right up there. Wow, that took me a while to find. And on top of that, it's taken me a while to get here. I've only died once, but there's plenty of opportunities to still die. It's just the cortex section is so difficult ooh, to get through without dying. Like a bunch of times. And uh, speaking of dying, I just died again. So I just have to be very careful about getting through the rest of this and here's hoping I'll be able to make it work. But I might not, who knows? Oh boy. Oh, oh, I got it. Wow, that took me so many tries. Like, honestly, that took me longer than it took to get all the crates in that level to get it all done. Because of that cortex section, I struggled so much, but King of Bling, I think that means we have gotten every single gem in the inverted section of the game. And we also got the subject number 372 for Coca. I can't believe it. This was so much work, but we got through it one way or another. And now we're back out here. So that scene double completed. That means we can switch back over to Coco and at least, you know, check out the skin. Looks like we still have one more for this. Defeat the final boss, inverted to get that. But this is a really cool costume. So uh, we might as well go for this. I sort of want to see what it's like to defeat this boss with just Coco. Um, just normal Coco for now. Let's go for the past unmasked inverted version. Here we go. So it's the final boss again. This was pretty challenging the first time through and I don't even remember what we do. Do I slam it? Yeah, I do slam it, okay. Whoa, hold, hold on, no! All right, well, I'm already starting to die. <laughs> There's not too much context added to this one. It's so hard to see too with all the pixels and everything. I'm gonna slam this down much better. Okay. Uh-oh, more stuff is falling, no! It's honestly really hard to tell which platforms are gonna fall. We have all of our masks up there that we need to save, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we're gonna jump to that one, slam on this. Whoa. Oh, oh, and I get zapped anyways. Oh my goodness, this is a rough start to begin with. Okay, let's go for it again. Come on, Coco, you can do it. I might go to this one first. Maybe this would be easier. Hard to tell for now, but I can jump over those. Jump over all this, there we go. Going a little bit slower seems to be helping us. And a lot of these are gonna fall, but, uh-oh, 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 ooh, get out of here, and boom, right in the cortex, there's the first bit of damage. Just relax and accept non-existence. Oh no, oh no, this is a mess. Whoa, okay, gotta watch out for that. So these platforms are disappearing, we need to jump over them. So far, so good. Oh no, do not shoot, shoot a manic. Please don't shoot, no, wait, wait, boom, got it. Okay, now I gotta get over to you really fast. That was close, but we find, found a way to make it work. Two hits on ya. Oh no, what do we do now? Oh geez, gotta jump over these, got it. Ooh, these ones are a lot trickier. I can go under them now. So just paying attention to the color seems to be a big idea. We can jump over this one, duck under that. Didn't even need to duck, which is good because it didn't work. Uh oh, oh. Okay, we're flipping around a little bit. Oh, this is too much. Okay, so jump, duck, jump. Okay, that could have been bad. Got it, got it. 
Okay, one more to survive here, maybe. Nah, that was so close, and it's turning back around again. Got it. Oh no. Shoot Maddox are doing their thing. Just a little bit more to get through. Slam on this one. Okay. Oh no. Oh, scary. But we're able to hit you, and boom, Cortex gets hit again. Can't keep up the pace. I don't know, it is tough to so far. Oh no. Uh, so what do I do here? I gotta run over this way. Keep up with the platforms, no! <laughs> Yikes, do I have to do the whole thing over? I don't, that's fortunate. Uh, can we get a proper retry at this? Oh no. So what are they slowing down, the platforms or me? I mean, I'm moving full speed still. Oh no, oh no. So I gotta jump over all this nonsense, slam on this thing, and then get back onto these platforms. Wow, that moved fast. Hold on. Get over to this, super slam on it, boom. So where's the assistant gonna pop up? Way over here. Oh, and he's moving quick. There we go, we got you still. So halfway down with Cortex now. I'm bored of your shenanigans. Okay, whoa. What are we gonna do with this one? Oh, he's gonna start spinning, isn't he? Whoa, okay. Let's jump over all that, then slam on this shoot matic This one is a mess. Wow. Got it. Jumping over all this too. And slam. And then slam again right here. That feels pretty good. Where is the assistant at? Oh, right here. In instantly I'm able to hit them. And then another assistant. They're popping up all over the place now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just one more hit is all we need. Can we get it? We can get it. See ya, Cortex. And that was it, backwards and forwards tr trophy earned. Is there more? I, I don't know. I think that was it. That was a little anticlimactic, but 100% completion earned. You did it, 100% completion. You've unlocked a bonus ending. Visit the gallery to view. Wow, so we get ourselves a bonus ending, way over here. This thing? Bonus ending one unlocked. Sure. Overachiever. Anjin abandoned his heavy metal lifestyle for one of smooth jazz. His <laughs> album, My Heart is a Doomsday Device, is currently number one in elevators all over the world. He'll be playing in the hotel bar from 3 to 3.30. Ooh. Embryo was caught and caged after being mistaken for a flying squirrel. He is on display in the art of taxidermy at Ripper Roo's Curious Cabinet of Curiosities. Oh no. To fuel his need for speed, Oxide became hooked on caffeine. He was hired as the spokesperson for a leading brand of energy drink. Very he is cool. currently in rehab and in the throes of a messy divorce. Oh no, poor Oxide. Without their master, Cortex's lab assistants found themselves in need of a new gig. They renovated his blimp, turning it into a successful pop-up shop, specializing in healing crystals. Huh, wow. Dingo Dial franchised his restaurant operation, with Dingo's Diner rising to become the first name in chain fast casual dining. Whoa. They closed overnight with officials citing record health code violations. The original location remains open during its condemnation. Poor Dingo Dial. I thought that was going to be good. After successful expeditions to El Dorado, Shangri-La, Atlantis, and a brief fling with some dweeb named Smathan Trake, Tana is taking a brief hiatus from her adventures to recenter. <laughs> She's recently taken up scrapbooking. She's not very good yet, but she's getting there. I'm glad Tana's having a good time. After trying and failing to invent the world's first self-flying flying car, Coco found a new career as an esports champion. Don't forget to follow Kick-Ass Coco and smash that adore button. I'm glad, good for Coco. The dimensions have heard nothing more. The doctor's trophy since Crash foiled their plans, but Evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Tell me about it. And as it. for me, well, let's just say I'm doing just fine. Wait, what? That was Crash's voice? What did he sound like that? Well, very impressive. Of course, there is still another ending to do this. We need to achieve the maximum possible completion. I'm not exactly sure what that requires, but with that being said, 
I don't know. Maybe we'll go for it at some point if you guys want to see it. We'll have to sort of, you know, see what needs to be done for it. But I wanted to get the 100% bonus ending one before the new Crash Team Rumble comes out in just a few days. So I'm glad that we were able to succeed with that. That was so cool. But as you can see, our modern 100% finish here, I think to get a higher percentage, we would have to get some crazy things like um the end scene uh, tokens or whatever they are where we complete everything in one run. I don't think I have enough time in my life to get good enough at the game to do that. So maybe one day, but I'm not really expecting it. This is all I really wanted to do for Crash 4 was to get this done. But yeah, we can see we even unlock a brand new Coco skin here. This is a pretty cool one. This is Wanda the w Wombat. That's so cute. So every single Crash and Coco skin unlocked. Along with it, we have gotten every gem along the way. It was just everything, you know? We have all the gems. We have all the color gems. The, really, the only thing we're sort of missing is time trial relics. If you guys would want to see those, maybe. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with everything we've done here. I'm very excited for the new Crash stuff coming with Crash Team Rumble, and I'm glad I could get this done before that came out. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.